you don't mind. Funny is magic. <laughs> I also do the odd impression. Depends how well you behave yourselves as to how many. Now this is magician's magic rope. This is, uh, this is weird stuff. It's got one middle. Hasn't got two ends, it's got four ends. I don't believe it! If you've got four ends, you should have two ropes, because I read this in a book on physics. And we, we do, in fact, have two ropes. We've got this one here, and we've got this one here. And Debbie, come over here. I've got something to show you. Now, <laughs> now you like this? Not a lot. Oh, would you like it? Oh, and if you just blow on the ropes like this. Has anyone only got one piece? Miss James, it's good, isn't it? Do you know, I do this, this is my favourite trick. I do this trick every morning in front of the mirror. <laughs> Laugh my head off. <laughs> then I put my clothes on and go to work. <laughs> uh, do you know, I, the thing is, you see, Billy Connolly, magician and doer of miracles. Now, you see these magicians, they tie their arms in knots like this, just to get one knot right in the middle. That's the old-fashioned way of doing it. What you do now is you, you give two taps, one hot, one cold. It's no good trying to blame the scriptwriter who's been dead for 60 years. The snappy thing is, you've got five knots. You've got one, two, three, four, five. It's 60 years and that's magic. But um, it's great to be back here on the south coast. We love Eastbourne. And I've been delving into my family history and I found out that one of my ancestors was actually killed just up the road here at the Battle of Hastings. Well, he wasn't actually in the battle, he was camping in the next field, and he went across to complain about the noise. But, uh, I tell you more, but it's too much uh, Saxon violence. This is a completely ordinary deck, 96 marked cards, 96. Just kidding, sir, there's 52. Okay, they're all marked on the front, all the same on the back. Just to save time, I shuffled them before I came here. I will do a quick shuffle. Yeah. <laughs> this is called the single-handed, one-handed shuffle, or the race course shuffle. It's called the race course shuffle because you keep one hand on your cards and the other hand on your wallet. You see? Joe Ray taught me that one. Now, <laughs> uh, gentlemen over here, you're not busy. <coughs> just, just take a card. Anyone, doesn't matter where you want. Perfect. Have a look at it. Shuffle it. In fact, take this pen and I want, just for fun, I want you to just put your name across the face of this gentleman. <laughs> no, <laughs> just sign your name. Put your pin number at the bottom. No, I don't want to. You want to get one of these pens? These pens are actually a revolutionary new pen. It's guaranteed to write 10,000 words. If it only writes 9,998, you take it back to the shop. The shopkeeper tells you what the other two words are. <laughs> Dance. 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 Uh, put the card anywhere you like, sir, on the top of the pack. That was a free choice. Okay. That, that's your card, sir. Okay? That goes on top of the pack like this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to lose your card in the middle of the pack. All I'm going to do is just spin the cards off like this. You see, just spin the cards off. Nothing's happened to your card so far. Four of spades. That goes in there like that. That goes in there like that. So now your card is somewhere buried in the middle of the pack. I'm getting waves of suspicion coming from this gentleman over here. It's not on the top, because that's the seven of hearts, okay? It's not on the bottom, because that's the three of spades. Now, you sir, you're not busy, are you? No, just come over here. And I want you to just take the cards, and I want you to count down seven cards from the top of the pack in a nice, neat pile around about there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the seventh card, thank you very much. You can take your seat, sir. Just watch as I build this into a tremendous climax. Okay. See, the seventh card is the two of spades. Not only have I found your card, I've actually changed it into another one and removed the signature, which was written in a permanent marker, and you won't see David Blaine doing this sort of stuff. Hanging upside down. Now, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, but inside my jacket, inside my pocket, is two pieces of purse packs. Rubber bands around the end or around the middle. In between the two pieces of perspex, sir, is one card. Is that your card? Is it your uh, signature? Me. Yes. It yes. is. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I'd like to take you all on a trip now to the far east end of London. 
Uh, where we might be a gentleman by the name of Derek Trotter, or better known as Del Boy. This is how I think Del Boy might be magic. A little bit like this. Point, 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 ain't going in the door. Bonsoir, LB design, and good evening, as a French would say. What is this? What? <laughs> I've been swatting up on the old lingo, you know, because I've heard there's a few foreigners in. Right? Now, I'm not going to do any these big illusions like sawing a woman in half, because tomorrow like, I'll probably get the half of dogs, right? But what I am going to do, <laughs> what I am going to do, I'm going to show you a little trick here. If you come and see me in the dealers tomorrow, I've only got the one. If you come and see me in the dealers, you buy this trick, this time next year, you could be a millionaire, right? Now, it's a little game play with this. Three hats, I've got three hats here. Each one belonged to the great Frank Sinatra, who used each and every one of them in the film from here to maternity, right? <laughs> I've also got a big red ball over here, right? Now, what we're going to do, also in the deal, you get this beautiful magician's magic wand, which is actually hand carved at the same wood they built the Titanic, right? <laughs> now, all you do is just get the ball like this, just give it a whack. And the ball vanishes from there and reappears underneath the act. Do it again, here we are. Goes in there like that, just give it a whack. And the ball vanishes from there and reappears underneath the act. Quickness of the hand deceives the eye, which is why there's so many black eyes around. All, right. All you do is just give it a whack like that. Nick knack paddy whack, give the acts a whack. And each of the balls reappear underneath each and every one of the acts. Right? Now, please understand. I was doing this trick the other night in a nag's head, right, and Boise, Boise was so surprised he nearly bought a round of drinks. Now this is also known as an invisible ball remover, so gents, if you do buy this, never put it in your pocket, otherwise you could turn yourself into a U-knock, right? All you do is get the ball like that. Now can you see the ball, sir? No. Don't be a plonker all your life. There it is, right? All you do is just give it a whack like that and the ball vanishes from there and reappears over there in double, right? Now, Mon Dieu, Mon Dieu, I hear you cry. What would happen if he'd said the other act? All you do is just get the ball like that, right? Give it a prod, and the ball vanishes from there and reappears over there underneath the act. Now, <clears throat> every magician needs a big finish, and Trotter's independent trade is a thought of everything, right? All you do is just bung all the acts together like that, just get the ball, give it a whack, and lo and behold, each of the balls reappear underneath the act. Now, I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking, right? If this trick is so good, right, if it's so good, why is he flogging it? Well, I'll tell you a very good reason for that <coughs> is I'm a complete nut. And if you just wave like that, you say the magic words, Trotters Independent Traders, and all the balls vanish. And there is the nut. Thank you very much for me.